Well over a hundred years ago, the south side of Columbus was home to one of the world's most honored stained glass companies. Today, a German village studio continues the tradition of producing exquisite stained glass for houses of worship, businesses, and private individuals across the country. It was Ludwig von Gerichten and his brother Theodore who put Columbus on the art glass map not long after moving here and establishing their first studio about 1893. Until they closed their doors for good in the 1930s, the von Gerichtens produced 1,800 stained glass windows for more than 800 churches across the United States. Most are still in their original homes and all are highly prized. Among the von Gerichten's employees was shop foreman Henry Helf, shown in this group shot of von Gerichten employees on the far right. Helf's son Elmore became so interested in stained glass that he and two other men started their own studio in 1924. That's when the doors first opened on Franklin Art Glass Studios. When the depression hit, Elmore's two partners dropped out, leaving him as the sole owner to struggle through the hard times. Indeed, business did stabilize in the 1930s, and before long the company began turning out hundreds of windows for houses of worship, as well as for private companies and individuals. Elmore's son James took over the company right after World War II, and it continued to flourish. In the mid-1960s, the Health family moved their business to 222 East Sycamore Street in German Village after outgrowing two previous locations. That was just in time for the studio's biggest order to date. We probably worked with Wendy's making lamps for 15 to 18 years, and uh, probably 15 years real strong, making maybe 170 to 200 lamps a week. Uh, there were other projects. I mean, we did a lot of work for the Limited in those days. Max and Irma's, people that you heard of, and then a great many other jobs along the way. Gary is the third Helf to head the company, following his grandfather and father. In the 1970s, he oversaw Franklin's expansion into the growing hobby market, selling retail supplies. Today, the company also offers classes to the general public. The term stained glass can refer to the works of art made with various pieces of glass or to the colored material itself. At Franklin, much of their glass comes from factories like this one in West Virginia. Once it arrives in the studios, the artists go to work. We might just sell a foot of glass to go in the cabinet door. Then we would, might do a side light for a house. Then we might do, it used to be it was real common to have a soaking tub in your house with a big four foot square window, we do those. Okay, then you go into the next step, then you go into a church, okay? Now we, in a church you can do anything. You can do one small little window donated by a family that wanted a memorial window, or you could do a brand new church through an architect and do 20, 30, 40, 50 windows, and they could be, you know, 10 foot by 20 foot long. Like the von Gerichtens before them, the Helfs do most of their work for houses of worship, shipping church windows to more than 30 states, not to mention the unique pieces of art for companies and individual homeowners. Helping customers decide exactly what they want is the work of Andrea Helf Reed, a member of the family's fourth generation. People will sometimes come in with a very definite idea um, or even a picture of what it is that they want. Or some people come in and say, I have no idea what it is that I actually want. I just know I want stained glass in this place. Um, and we really sit down with them and really try to steer them onto exactly what it is that, that they have in mind. You know, we can normally replicate just about anything into stained glass that, that they come in with. We haven't, I can't think of anybody we've turned down and said, no, we can't do that. A big reward for any artist is admiring the finished project. And it's no different here at the largest stained glass company in Ohio. There's nothing quite like getting to see it in person. I don't always get to see the completed product in person. Our installers, we have in-house installers who put the jobs in and, and do a nice job of bringing us back pictures, um, but probably the most fun is being able to see the window in place and seeing happy customers, you know, watching what they had in their mind actually go into their home and having them be happy with it and pleased with it and telling you that, that um, it's exactly what they wanted is, is a great feeling. 
These days, the Health family have incorporated into their logo a stained glass angel, similar to one from a window made by their predecessors, the Von Gerichtens. The original window looks out over Sycamore Street from their studio. Andrea likes to think the angel is watching over her family as they continue a proud tradition that started here on the south side well over a hundred years ago.